Greetings, people. This is Miseko58. Bring you some more of Telltale Games Batman. Hey. Harvey. Another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes the local from Gotham mobster. for the crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. You're naive, Harvey. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. At least hear I don't think so. Kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. My family built this house. It's not for sale. Everything's for sale, Mr. Wayne. And everyone. Just need to find the right currency. Come I don't on, think so. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Hmm, what do I do here? You're a respectable man, I hear. Ain't gonna happen. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. You should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? Can't bully Bruce Wayne in his own house. Or bully him full stop. It can't happen. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say any will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Sorry, Harvey. I ain't gonna play I nice with this guy. Is. So, let's talk relationship. Falcone can go do one. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, delusions clubs, of grandeur, unions, politicians. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend, one who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. 
Between your businesses and the, my uh, outfit, we employ half the Politically city. correct to keep Harvey I'm happy. Only talking to you because Harvey asked. Trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father hey, Bruce. Knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. So People slimy gangster. Me. Not for long. Master Bruce. Don't mess with Your Alfred Neva. Are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. Never offered it. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Your head on the plate, Falcone. Harvey then certainly uh, knows how to pick his allies on his campaign run. It's me. What's this then? Oh, the Bat Cave. Very high tech. The Realm of Shadows. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in, with breaking and entering incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. The notorious Batman was on the scene, but failed to secure the stolen items. But the Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Hey, all right, let's have a look around. Accusations hold any water with the voters. What can I get access to? A desperate attempt from a can I walk around to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians. Look at the gadgets in a minute. Oh, well, let's have a look at the uh, Batmobile. Getting used to the controls. Gadgets. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders the of Gotham. Grapple gun. Sky rail cars to contend with. Pellets. Police are investigating multiple cases of riders CP receiving taser. wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapons. detection skimmers. Rest into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died. No well, most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police nice. don't have any suspects at the time. Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum. 
bringing the total number of escapees from the half prison. Nearly fell off a building for this. Let's get to it. At the aging asylum, the latest 44 year old twin brother and sister, Leon and Valerie. So awesome. I'd like to have a games room like that. So important. Can you imagine? I'd never leave the room. It's all the takeaways 24 7. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree, it isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Okay. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Not quite. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Think so. Yeah, the Cup of Earl Grey, of course. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back. Earl Grey tea. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Nope. Well, let's have a look at the, at the codex. Okay, got fee, not interested. Codex. Just give a quick uh, feature of all the characters in this game. Look at the first one, the Wayne family we know all about. Pause the game and have a read through it if you're not familiar with the storyline. <laughs> Alfred. Well, many a year. Harvey Dent. A new friend for now. Steering down the right path might be more harder than Batman thinks. <coughs> Mayor Hill. Shady, greasy character, rotten to the core. Hence the reason why Harvey Dent's running against him. <coughs> Batwoman. Catwoman, not Batwoman. Petty larceny for now, bigger things to come in the future. <laughs> James Gordon or Lieutenant? He's going to run the Special Ops Major Crimes Task Force. 
good friend of Batman. And we've got Vicky Vale, the uh, investigative journalist. And very sleazy Falcone. Very worst kind of gangster. That's the population of Gotham. Arkham Asylum. There's audio tapes that go with this, but uh, I'm not going to bother about it for now. Wayne Enterprises, established 1870. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Uh, whenever Harvey calls. That guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out, Al. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have canceled the event. Well, I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. <laughs> uh, old men worry, that's all. Alfred as the Batman. And our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Oswald Copplepot. Dishonorable. AKA in the future, the penguin. Arms dealing, prison stents. That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I. I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Well, people, I'm going to leave the game here. Thank you very much for watching. We'll pick up part three very soon. It's Mr. Echo 58 signing off for now. Leotard.